C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Lu Chong, someone in the school is jumping off a building. Lu Chong, who was lying prone on the desk, snoring loudly while drooling and shouting, I want beauties, was forcefully shaken awake. Lu Chong glanced at the side and realized it was his best friend, Pang San. He immediately fell asleep. Others jumping off buildings have nothing to do with me. I was so humiliated by Ah Hua last night, don't disturb my sleep and recuperate. Hey hey hey, the one jumping off the building this time is a beauty. Lu Chong shook his head speechlessly. With your aesthetics, it's better not to. Last time, Pang San forced himself up from his slumber and said that he was going to see a top-notch beauty. In the end, the two of them arrived at the yoga class where beauties were gathered. Pang San actually pointed at a fat woman with a face full of pockmarks and said, Yes, it's her. Lu Chong almost vomited blood on the spot. F asterisk CK, the entire stadium is filled with beautiful people practicing yoga, okay. But you have to point to the only fat lady who poured tea and said, This is a real beauty. The heck, can't I still play happily now? Lu Chong still had a shadow. She really is a beauty. I swear it on Pang San's name. Pang San spoke endlessly, however, Lu Chang's snores had already sounded out. Pang San's name. A guy who didn't even have integrity left actually had a fart name. I in a moment of desperation, Pang San suddenly said, the one who jumped off the building was Li Yuching. It's that new student who transferred to this school and is even prettier than a school beauty. Before Pang San could finish his sentence, Lu Chong had already stood up abruptly tidied up his clothes and combed his hair. It's my duty to save a fire, protecting a beauty is the responsibility of this homeland's flower, let's go. N. The heck, aren't you being too perverted? Pang San was quickly dragged out of the classroom. Lu Chong said as he walked, Li Yuching is not such an impulsive person, why would she jump off a building? Pang San said with a head full of sweat, I heard that he is related to Zhao Ritian. Why is it related to Zhao Ritian this banana? Lu Chong was shocked that IT was true that there were a lot of bastards in Hua Hai High School, but if one were to say who was the head of the bastards, it would definitely belong to Zhao Ritian. It seems that Zhao Ritian had installed a pinhole camera inside Li Yuching's room and took some jade shots. Zhao Ritian threatened Li Yuching with these jade photos, and when he said that he wouldn't be his lover, he sent them online. The charming Li Yuching couldn't stand these insults and climbed onto the rooftop of the main building, and threatened to jump off. Lu Chong sighed as he ran, isn't it just a few jade pictures? What's the big deal? Many people would like their jade photos to be spread online to hype up their position. If I were Li Yuching, I would not even have the time to thank that fool Zhao Ritian. Brother Chong, these words. Can't. In general. Where's Zhao Ritian? Zhao Ritian heard that Li Yuching is about to jump off a building. She was so scared that she ran away from class, Lu Chong felt as if 10,000 F asterisk king mud horses were galloping in his mind. Damn, this Zhao Ritian is really a F asterisk asterisk king weirdo, he's only one step away from success in his big business. This bro actually scared himself off at the most crucial moment. If this Zhao Ritian continues to persist, then. Perhaps. Maybe Li Yuching had really given in and agreed to be his lover. Shame, the shame of men, from a distance, Lu Chong could see that the lawn below the main teaching building was full of people. And on the roof, on the edge of the rooftop, stood a beautiful woman who seemed to have a devilish body, there seemed to be a few people in police uniform behind the beauty trying to dissuade her. However, the police's persuasion didn't seem to work. Instead, it made the angel beauty more and more agitated, as if she would fall from the sky at any moment. The situation was critical. The brother Chong is here. Everyone, move out of the way, move out of the way. Pang San crazily squeezed into the crowd and took the initiative to open up a path for Lu Chong because Pang San's actions of pulling the others were rather crude, it made some people very unhappy. Fuck, who's pulling me, I'm sick. What are you trying to squeeze? 
Are you in a hurry to reincarnate? In the midst of thousands of people cursing, Pang San dared to take the lead of the world. He opened a bloody path for Lu Chong and arrived at the bottom of the school building. Brother Chong, quickly look, Li Yuching is really falling. Pang San pointed to the crumbling lady on the roof and said excitedly. Brother Chong, look. See that. She was going to jump, he was really going to jump. Look, Brother Chong. F asterisk CK, I've grown eyes, okay. Lu Chong was very speechless, however, the situation was urgent. Lu Chong slowly withdrew his meaningful gaze, and simply swept a glance at the situation in his surroundings, most of the onlookers were teachers and students, and quite a few students were screaming in fear. Even some of the older teachers were covering their eyes in fear. Was it really necessary? How could he still be called a teacher? The only thing that was effective for the situation was that a few fire officials had already pulled out a huge air cushion bed and were filled with air, waiting for Li Yuching to jump down from the roof, but this air cushion is only about 10 square meters in size. Such a small air dot cushion bed was useless. Plus, the wind was blowing strongly today, so this measure was completely unreliable. Fatty, follow me. Lu Chong immediately took off his own scarf and wrapped it around Pang San's face. Then, he dragged the fatty and ran towards the stairs as if he was flying, when he regained his senses, he realized that Lu Chong had already reached the sky platform, and was standing not too far away from Li Yuching, there were a lot of teachers and students surrounding them, as well as a few fire and police officers trying to dissuade Li Yuching. However, the words they used to dissuade him were, Beauty, you're still young, don't even think about going. Your good life hasn't started yet, Li Yuching was already very excited, but she was stopped by these people until she became even more agitated. She said, you are all liars and you are all hypocrites, then turned around and was about to jump down, seeing her actions, the surrounding people all cried out in alarm just at this moment, a loud and clear male voice rang out, beauty, please hold your steps. This voice was especially loud, as if all the noise was suppressed. The entire audience could only hear this person's voice, the voice was grand, magnetic, calm, and vast that IT was like a Taoist explained the essence of heaven and earth, as if the Buddha of the West was transmitting the true meaning of the Buddhist scriptures. It was even more like a broad and grand tentacle that was gradually soothing the excited emotions in Li Yuching's heart. She stopped abruptly, with his back facing the crowd, he stood against the wind, she wore a white floral silk shirt, a long white skirt and a pair of high dot heeled shoes. It was a clear display of her devilish figure. Her long hair fluttered in the wind, giving people the feeling that she was a proud and aloof fairy, everyone was stunned that IT had also stunned Pang San. IT this time, Lu Chong punched Pang San, causing Pang San to scream miserably as he fell to the ground. Beauty, I have already caught Zhao Ritian. He's here and I've got the USB in his hand. If you want to beat him up, then come and beat him up. But I do not want to let this bitch Zhao Ritian get away with it so easily. I plan to throw him down to his death. Lu Chong slowly walked to the side of the heaven stage with the covered Pang San in one hand, this scene caused the surrounding teachers and students, police officers, to be stunned. F asterisk CK, who is this bro so arrogant? Zhao Ritian's father is one of the great bullies of our East Sea city. This brother here sure is arrogant to be able to catch Zhao Ritian, but I don't think he would dare to throw Zhao Ritian down. Yeah, even our school's vice. Principal is often beaten up by Zhao Ritian, it's not like we dare to do anything to him. Tell me, if this guy really threw Zhao Ritian down, would Zhao Ritian's father bring hundreds of little brothers to wipe out our school? OMG, this world is very crazy, I think I should leave first, don't mess with Zhao Ritian's father. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.